can ChatGPT generate images? A quick recap of ChatGPT, which is ChatGPT is an AI language model. In other words, it kind of scours the internet like Google, Bing, and all of the other browsers. It understands all of the web pages and the text. It makes sense of it. And the whole idea is for AI to mimic the human brain. Now, over the past couple of years, AI has really come on to the point where there's people creating plugins, businesses are getting scared of being replaced, schools are pulling in restrictions on the general use of ChatGPT, and overall, life has just not been the same. But the question in today's video is, can ChatGPT generate images. Heading over to ChatGPT, I am on GPT-4, which is the pro version. In order to be on the pro version, you need to be subscribed to the $20 a month plan. Once you're subscribed, you'll hover over GPT-4 and you'll just select it. Go ahead and type in a prompt to see if ChatGPT will generate images. So I've asked it, generate an image of a dog in the garden. And unfortunately, ChatGPT cannot generate images directly. But does that actually mean they can't generate images? Because it says, directly. Let's try and find a way to generate these images. If we go into settings and beta and then beta features, you'll see an option called plugins. Go ahead and toggle that so it's green. Create a new chat and click on this little icon here. If you scroll down, you can click on plugin store. And now these are all of the plugins relating to ChatGPT. A plugin is a box of done for you code that you can plug into ChatGPT and it will do specific tasks for you perhaps we can find one that will generate images for us. Inside the search plugin, if we type in images, we have a bunch of images displayed. We can do things from editing images, converting images, even searching for images. And here we can see one called mixer box image gen. So go ahead and click install and that should be installed. And now if we go back to this option and if we have a search for this plugin, the mixer box image gen, so we'll select that. And now in theory, we can give it a prompt and it should be able to generate an image for us. So I've said, generate an image of a dog in the garden and we'll do enter. So we're getting a different response now and that's because it's using the plugin we just installed. And if we drop down, it's doing all of the code for us and it's even finished generating that image. So let's have a look to see what it looks like. Click on this image and it's generated a bunch of dogs in the garden. Now, I'll be honest, this isn't the best demonstration of AI images, but I guess the answer to can we generate images in ChatGPT is a kind of yes. Now I'm going to show you a much more efficient and easier way of generating images, especially at scale, using automation. In just a second, you're going to learn how to quickly build a done for you automation system utilizing no code at all. If you want further training on automation and automating your business assets, head over to brainyautomations.com where I teach tons of this training and hold your virtual hand. We're going to be using a software called Zapier. So go ahead and grab yourself a subscription to Zapier because this is life-changing software. We're going to head over to create a Zap. For the trigger, we're going to use Google Sheets. Now we're going to select an event and we want it to be new or updated spreadsheets and do continue. We now need to connect our account and that's been connected but we actually need to create a Google Sheet first. So head over to Google Sheet and we need to name a new Google Sheet. So let's call this AI Image Generator. We're gonna create some headers. The first header is going to be prompt and then the second header will be URL. And the third header will be run. Now we're going to give Google Sheets a quick prompt. So we're going to say a dog sitting in a garden. Now we're going to head back over to Zapier click spreadsheet and select AI image generator. The worksheet and the trigger column is going to be run and we'll do continue. So now if we test the trigger, it's brought in all of that data for us and you can see our prompt here. So we'll do continue and now we're going to connect open AI. We're going to select an event and click generate image. Inside the prompt, we're gonna select it and now we can select the prompt that we put into Google Sheets, which is this one here. We can even say how many variations of the image we want generating. I'm just gonna leave it to one right now, but you can actually generate up to 10 images. We'll change the size to 1024 by 1024 and do continue. If we test the step, it's generated a URL for us. 
So if we copy this and go to it, we have a dog sitting in the garden, but we actually want to update the Google Sheet document with this URL so we can download it later. So if we click on add a step, we'll type in Google Sheets again, the event, and this is going to be update spreadsheet row. Continue, continue. We're going to select the spreadsheet again, and now we'll select the row. And we're going to leave the prompt empty, but we will add the URL of the generated image that we just created. So now we'll do continue, test, head over to our AI sheet, and there we have it. We have that URL ready to download. Once you publish that zap, that will run on autopilot for you. But there is so much you can do with that, but we just don't have enough time in today's video. So if you would like more training, head over to brainyautomations.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.